Sean, are you asking me for a consult? No. What? I already told him it's jewelry. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. I know it's jewelry, but we just need some more details on why it's... Well, that's bronze. Well, it's copper now, but the jewelry was bronze. Bronze is just copper and tin together. Tin has a lower burning temperature, so tin vaporized, and the copper embedded itself in your skin, so you just clean with chlorhexidine and then debris. Nice Good console. You know I'll be right over there if you get stumped again. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I just don't like them as a couple. I don't, but I like her. I will decompress the spinal cord and stabilize the spine as fast as I can. Dr. Shepard, um, can I assist you on the decompression infusion? Sure, stand over there. But I, I can't reach the field from here. I know. Jonathan needs an extremely delicate and complicated procedure. You're most useful if you don't touch anything. It's been a <laughs> dramatic case, you okay. see. That. You're doing great. Ten blade. <laughs> She's like, no, you're not doing anything here. Just stand Adams. there. Adams. Oh, what would I do? Nothing. That's just the problem. You have to follow me. I cannot work if I cannot visualize the field. Okay, on it. Where are we? Uh, 10 o'clock. Still on the coca maneuver. Coca maneuver, which is what? The mobilizing the duodenum and pancreatic head off the IVC. Good. Easy with the retractor. Okay, that's enough. Stop. This isn't working. Griffith, step in here. We need a fresh set of hands. I've got it. This is not a skills lab. He's clearly tired. He keeps spacing out. He's done for the day. You're free to observe. Yeah, Griffith, step well, in, he's please. looking out. Where am I, Griffith? You dissected to the left lateral border of the aorta. Good. Let's go. He's facing out. He's like looking up and, and like, yeah. I mean, I totally get it. He's like, okay, just stop now. You gotta come see the lightning. Oh, not now, we'll right sweetie. There, right, buddy? Okay. This is scary. Oh my god. They said that the house might burn down, right? That's gonna be easy if they're packing everything and the house is gonna burn down. It's just like, okay, my house. Now I have to I move to Boston. But I love you more. And I'm, I, I'm willing to give it up. That is no. the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I thought you'd be flattered. That you'd be willing to give up your career yeah, no. goals for yes. me? No. No, no, yeah. no. That is the opposite of what I want. That is the opposite of what I would do. I would never yeah. give up cardio. I would never, ever give up my passion for you. You are my passion, Maggie. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, um, my God. I'm so... I guess no, I'm not yeah. sure that I respect that. <laughs> I agree though. I would not if I'm doing something and I'm passionate about that. I'm not gonna give it up for a person. I'm sorry. I, it doesn't matter how much I love you. Like I can. It's it's me. It's about me. People come and go, but you know you can do. You need to do you. You know sometimes with the things that you really want, you you need to put yourself first. I mean, I'm like my here. I don't find anything romantic about it. like he's he's saying like I thought you would be flattered, and I'm like no. That's the opposite. Like, you not doing what you want to do? I don't find that flying at all. I just found that as a burden, you know? It sucks. That's okay. okay. Oh my god. Okay. All right, you can continue. <laughs> Her face, like, oh my god, she's gonna be okay. The way their hands move to tie those things, oh my gosh. It takes skills. Read it in one sitting. They all read it. And then it. I went out and spent my whole allowance on a cactus. You know, I've forgotten how nice it is operating with you. Was that a backhanded compliment about my time off? You're an excellent surgeon, Bailey. I mean, it's yeah. been a while. I'm just stating facts. Yes. Then I accept. <laughs> you know, it's nice to bring in I new love people, Bailey. But there's really no substitute for institutional knowledge. No, I will not take over as chief now that Gray is leaving. I didn't ask you to, but no one can run this place like you. I have a clinic <laughs> to open, and flattery yes. will not distract me. Honestly, I resent it. Bailey. No, no. Ba ba yeah. I mean, give it to Maddie or to Winston. I mean, right? I mean, they're fighting about Joe Winston, so... Everything okay? Meredith's house is burned down. The leaks. Don't tell her. Don't tell her until she's done, please. Dr. Gray, I need a moment. Okay, well, I can't step away right now. I need you to take your hands out of the field right away, Meredith. I got a call from Ben Warren. There's a report of a fire at your address. I tried calling Winston and Maggie, but they didn't answer. Station 19, oh my God. Away. I'll take you now. My kids. I told you everything I know. My go, kids. Go, go. Yes, oh my god, everything, 
happens to Meredith. Everything happens to Meredith. Oh my gosh. Of course there's a fire at Meredith's house. Yeah. I mean, we saw the pictures. It was kind of... It was kind of obvious. Right, it's okay. Everything's fine. Oh the kids are right here. What happened? Oh my god. Oh my god. 19. Oh are they all there? Uh, we were upstairs and lightning struck the house. We got the kids. We came down, got outside as quickly as we could. I need an inch and a half line here. Oh my god. Dr. Gray, I'm, I'm so sorry. I know this is hard, but you gotta keep a safe distance, okay, all right? Okay, okay. We wanted to go back in and take some boxes, but the fire, it's okay. It's, you're okay. That's all I care about. It's just tough. Oh my gosh. Well, that's it. Only Ben and Andy appeared on the <laughs> for like a second. I hate because the crossovers are like super tiny. It's like two seconds. Thank you all so much. You can go in and see him if you want. Well, at least he's alive. Because he fell from a helicopter, dude. And he lived. I mean, who can say that? Copy that. Dr. Altman, there are nine kids in my family. I, I promise I have a point now. We'll talk faster. Um, <laughs> my parents always I wanted a boy, point. and they kept having kids until they got one. And our parents always told me and my sisters that we could be anything we wanted, but it was kind of hard to ignore the subtext. You know, girls aren't enough. And on almost every level, I know that it's not true. But they yeah. cooked it into me pretty good, and today you uncooked it. Watching you work today, I mean, you changed oh. <laughs> You are a badass boss lady surgeon, and I want to be you when I grow up. <laughs> Yes, I'm sorry, is, is it disrespectful to call you a badass or a boss lady? No, it, boss uh, lady. it's much appreciated. Oh, <laughs> boss lady. If you're gonna crack a joke about me being more bossy than a boss lady, I already have it in my head. Actually, I was gonna say maybe you should apply to be chief. Oh. And I need the money, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh my god, yes. I mean, yeah, Teddy, come on. Go do it. That's a good option. That way she's just not buzzing around no one. She's buzzing around everyone. Let me show you how it's done. Oh god, Spare I don't me. like them. I don't like them. So, you gonna tell me how you know so much about lightning? Were you struck by lightning as a child? Because that would explain a lot. Well, I'll tell you if you tell me how <laughs> you happen to know the melting points of precious metals. Oh, that's easy. My mom used to make jewelry. And my brother and I would sell it at the farmer's market. It was a cover while my dad sold weed under the table. Wow. Oh, Your parents wow. Okay. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I spent most of my childhood just wishing it would disappear. And did they? Nope. They are still here. And still high. Oh, gosh. Okay. Your turn. Well, I spent a few high. years in St. Kitts, where lightning is a fact of life. You grew up there? No. I went there for, I went there for medical school. Because I didn't get into medical school in the U.S. My mother got sick, my grades took a nosedive, and St. Kitts became my only option. Oh. And your mom, is she okay? No. She got really sick. And died. And then she died. Okay, that but sucks. But on a brighter note, we'd make a hell of a trivia team. I don't like him, though. I don't like them together. I mean, I think they could be cool hey. friends, hey. but... I just don't see the chemistry. I'm sorry. I'm like not seeing it. Maybe you guys are. Let me know. But I'm not. It's not. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel it. But it will get you through the week. Thank you. I really, I really appreciate you helping. Yeah, of course. Oh, they're gonna end up together. They're gonna end up together. Yeah. They love each other. No, I just, I, I knew that it was a rough day because of the clinic not opening. So hey, why don't we go get takeout at the Italian place? Get a better offer. Opposite charges finding each other. They connect, they spark, and as long as they do, yes. your life goes on. Put the scissors they're on gonna open. But, but Oh, they're gonna open. <laughs> Does three people make this a grand opening? Oh, many great things start small. Well, I love it, Karina is there. Finally. Just take the picture, Lincoln. <laughs> your cells keep multiplying. Oh, your brain keeps honey, thinking. I love having her there. Okay, I'm gonna cut. Okay. Cut, cut, cut. I love having her there. Oh. Aww. Earn the good stuff. All right. Elena Bailey. <laughs> Who's Elena? I'm. Um, Elena Jen. Bailey. Oh my mom. Oh. Ah, oh. oh, she spent her life fighting to make sure I had every opportunity, every freedom I deserve. She was complicated. Our relationship was complicated, but she loved me. 
with her entire heart. And that took courage. Elena Bailey lived with love and courage. Now it's our turn. <laughs> oh, love it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Gosh. <laughs> I love Corina being there so much because she was just on, on station for like one scene. So I love that we had more of her. Just assisted on a successful Whipple. We just assisted on a successful Whipple in our first year. Damn. There is no job better than this. You assisted. You assisted. I watched the portal dissection and got benched. I failed. He started strong, plus Gray and Marsh were out of sync today. It, it could have happened to any of us. Yeah, would Quan have lost focus? Or Millen? Oh my god, that happens to you. Lucas, you had a bad day. It's not the end of the world. Stop being nice. Tessa could have died. If, if Tessa had died and your little book was the last thing she ever signed, would you be in here trying to make me feel better? What are you yelling at me? I stepped in and saved your ass. You should be thanking me. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh my god, they're gonna kiss. Yes. <laughs> of course that was gonna happen. Oh gosh. I mean, these things happen. You need to know that even if you're a surgeon, surgeon you know that people could die. Life is electricity. I can't. Positive Why can't you? Why creation can't you? And destruction. Why can't you? Oh gosh. Amelia. It's too early to say anything for sure, but we're trying everything. Thank you. Thank you, okay. Well, I'll be there. I was just doing this earlier. Aww. Fell when the lightning hit it. It was all I managed to take. Aww. Destruction. Sometimes for the, the notes. Sometimes for the worse. That's her house. That's the house, right? Alice's house from season one. Like her house, right? Or is this storms inside? Yeah, this is the old time house, like the original house, right? It's not Meredith's house with Derek. No, because that was in the like in the countryside, I think. So okay, they are gonna lose the house apparently. Well, that's how they ended it. Her just looking at the at the note, at the note with Derek, like their vows, and that's it. That's how they ended the the thing. It was a good episode, guys. I mean, I liked it. I think, as I said with Station, it was not like a like a shock stopping fall finale. I guess it's like a normal fall finale, like um, not super, like it's not a season finale. Maybe for the season finale it's gonna be like a bigger thing, but for the fall finale it was, uh, it was interesting, it was fun, and the whole lightning thing with everyone, and the crossover was mainly the patient, and Ben appeared, Theo appeared, Herrera appeared, and that's it, uh, from station, so yeah, that was it, and no one from Grace uh, from Grace appeared on station, so I'm like uh, kind of mm, with the crossovers because uh, it's not like an actual thing that they have conversations for real. It's it's a tiny crossover, so yeah. But it was fun. I liked it, and I honestly, I just finally liked that they told everyone that Lucas is Amelia's uh, nephew. Finally, well, the house thing with Meredith sucks. I mean. But it's, it's kind of what's gonna happen because they're gonna move to Boston so the house burns down, it's the end, it's over, so. And I love like everyone helping Schmidt, well, kind of, I mean, show is hilarious. And also the clinic opening with Karina being there, as I said, I love that she was there because she appeared on just one scene on, on station, so I'm glad that we at least had her for a little bit more. And yeah, the show, Bailey and her were able to open the clinic. Uh, that was pretty cool. I wished Addison were there, honestly. I wish she had uh, stayed for this episode and been on the opening thing, but I don't know. I don't know why they didn't invite her, because <laughs> it's just like, I guess, the scheduling or something. I don't know. Um, but it would have been cool to have her there too. And yeah, that's it, guys. I, it was a fun episode. I cannot wait for, for February. I don't know if there are promise. I'm gonna check out if there are promise for a February but I don't think so because it's in February so I don't know if they had already did if they have already done that but it was a fun one I like the station station ended with Maya being on the floor <laughs> so like unconscious and this ends with Meredith's house being burned down so I cannot wait to see when station and grace come back what's gonna go down so I just want to say thank you so much for watching this guys I truly hope you liked it if you did please subscribe follow me on Twitter and we'll be seeing each other in my next reaction bye guys Thank you.